Well, let's go back to the uh, the awards that uh, you did with the New York uh, mm-hmm. critics that got you national press for apparently acting in a way that was unlike award show fodder. Oddly, it got me noticed for things that did not happen. Really? Is that right? Yes, because the, uh, what, what appeared, it all started with an article in, on the Gawker website, an article that was written by a friend of an enemy, mm-hmm. who the enemy being Jay Hoberman at the Village Voice. So a friend of Jay Hoberman wrote a lie, and the lie caught fire and is all over the Internet. You know, it's like that, that old saying, uh, uh, a lie makes a lie goes around the road twice before the truth puts its shoes on. Mm-hmm. Words to that effect, and that's that's what's happened here. Uh, someone wrote on the internet a lie about what happened on January 10th, and unscrupulous people all over the internet picked it up and repeated it over and over and over again. That's what happened. The, do, you, do you want me to tell you the fact yeah, of what I, happened? Yeah, I, I would love 10th? to hear the whole thing. <clears throat> sure. It was a beautiful evening on January 10th. I, as, as my third year as chairman of the New York Film Critics Circle, and I started the evening saying, this is an evening in celebration of film and criticism. And then this, this asshole, Darren Aronofsky, comes up on the stage. He, he was there to present an award to his cinematographer for the movie The Black Swan, mm-hmm. and he decided to, to do the stupid thing and take a shot at me and said something to the effect that, Armin White doesn't have any compassion, and, and my parents taught me that you know if you don't have anything good to say, you shouldn't say anything, which I thought was really stupid because <laughs> that doesn't apply to critics. Right. <laughs> so why would he even bring it up? So he said that, and <clears throat> you know I, I, have, I have great respect for the New York Film Critics Circle uh, because so many critics that I admired were part of it, were part of what kept it going for 76 years now, people like Pauline Kael and Andrew Saris and Vincent Camby. So I respect that institution. And, and I was a host for the evening, and I know how to be a host. And a host does not insult his guest, even when the guest is out of control and rude. So Darren Aronofsky had his, had his little moment, and, and when he left the podium, I said, it's okay, and people, because some people in the audience hissed him and booed him. Mm-hmm. And I said to the audience, that's okay, that's okay. <clears throat> uh, Darren Aronofsky reads me, and that's all I want. I want him to read me, and because he reads me, he knows the truth. That response got reported nowhere on the internet. Instead, uh, Hoberman's friends lied, and, and, and this, this, this thing at Entertainment Weekly, Lisa Schwartzbaum lied and wrote a report that I was rude to the, to the presenters. I've, I've done the chairmanship at the New York Film Critics Circle for three years. I did it in 94, did it in 2009, and, and this year. And I've never, I've never been rude to a guest because that's not, that's not what a, a host does. 